Hi Scorpios, we're seeing how your person is feeling about you today. So right off the bat, we have the Three of Swords energy here. They're grieving over you. They're hurt. They're disappointed right now. We have the Three of Swords here, so I do have to say they could have put you in a third party and they're dropping their ego and pride aside. If not, they know that they hurt you here and they're, they want to work hard on it with the Seven of Pentacles here. The King of Swords energy, when this person comes out, they're cold here, but they want to take baby steps with you. Because I feel like in the past, you guys struggled here. You could have a family with this person or you struggled financially with this person. You guys overcame it. So they're thinking about the past here, this nostalgia. They think to see you as the divine feminine here, the empress, they're thinking about this past. It's going to be twin flame energy going on. But nonetheless, here, how they feel about you is that they want to balance things out. Twin of swords energy, twin of wands energy, I'm sorry. They want to drop this burden here. And come towards you. We have Sagittarius and Libra on the board, all right? Credit by the King of Swords, yeah. They're coming out of this frustration where, wow, they're thinking about the past about you hard. We have the Six of Cups in reverse twice here, Scorpios. So they want to come clean about something. They want to tell you something here with the King of Swords energy. Um, it's like they want to speak this truth and turn this around with you. Yeah, this is a divine masculine coming in. To speak their truth to you here look at this beautiful energy here look at this divine fate divine time coming in here with the two of cups and the empress all right yeah whoops all right some of these cards when i when i shuffle y'all it just kind of like flip flops so that's what i'm doing <laughs> right by the page of wands and whoop, all right yeah the ace of wands so they want this exciting new beginning. I mean, if they feel this passion with you, they want to tell you how they feel here. They're choosing a path to come towards you. Look at all of these wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Uh, but if you're dealing with the Aries, you might want to read that reading as well here. Uh, watch that reading, I mean. But they're coming in with the plan. They're coming in with the goal. Or, or, you know, if you're talking to this person of how they're feeling about you, they're going to tell you that they want a new start with you and they're planning for a long-term relationship with you. Yeah, they want to come on a conflict with you. Things are hidden here. Could be dealing with the Pisces, but they're gonna, what's hidden is they're going to tell you how they feel. Hurt by the Six of Wands. Yeah, the world in reverse. They want a second chance with you. They want to be able to heal this with you, Scorpios. Yeah, but they feel like your guard is up. Or they're going to have to fend off people. I feel like you guys, like when you argue, you told people about your arguments here for some of you here. And... Or they told other people, and I was like, they felt some kind of way between you and them, like their relationship. So they could have to fend off other people here, like stick up for you type thing. Clarify the Nine of Cups. Why is Nine of Cups here? Yeah, because they see you as a special of them, and I feel like they cause pain here. This could be a karmic situation, but it was only because of money that they were in this situation with the Seven of Pentacles. Look at all those Pentacles. It was just about money here, but they're waiting. They could be waiting on money. Clarify this Three of Swords energy. Just want to dive deeper. This is Three of Swords. Yeah, Nine of Swords, King of Swords, and the Chariot here. Yeah, they feel like you want nothing to do with them. And this crazy is creating a lot of anxiety on telling you how they feel here. Because you want nothing. You don't want to go back towards them is how they're feeling. Clarify the Six of Cups, which is why it's in reverse. There's... They're thinking about the past so much, you know. They have a lot of passion for you. They want to take action here. When the King of Wands jumps out, that's action. That's doing. They're going to tell you how they feel here. But they're trying to get the strength. They're thinking about the past here, having all this anxiety and sleepless nights on what they've done here. Yeah, the Page of Swords in reverse, the Nine of Cups. So they, they're, they're something that could be watching you through mutual friends here or just they see you as a wish fulfillment here or they know that you know, they were selfish in the past with this page of swords being in reverse. Clarify the Empress. Yeah, Queen of Wands energy. Here's your card. Yeah, they're juggling or whether they want to come toward... Wow. <laughs> they're juggling or whether or not to come towards you. This is Twin Flame energy all over it. Look at that. These are two different decks. And boom. You guys are right there. Yeah. Juggling and coming forward. Why? Because for some of them, you know, they took advantage of you. Six of Pentacles in reverse. 
you know, not telling you how they feel, what I mean by taking advantage here. Not telling you that some of them, they had a kid or family here, but they're seeking justice, wanting to balance out these skills. Again, Aries, Libra energy here and give you this. And again, like I said, the King of Wands is all about action. And look at this Eight of Pentacles. They're going to talk their talk and actually, you know, I don't know what's so hard. Is it walk their walk? I don't know. But they're taking action here. They're actually wanting to physically work on this. Clarify this in the Pentacles. Because without you, it's been unstable for them. Some of you could have been talking to this person, but they do have emotions for you. And they want to tell you this. You could have been separated for a while, um, Divine Feminine. This is a twin flame reading now. Uh, yeah, judgment. Judgment's going to come in. Look at that. Judgment and temperance here. This is definitely twin flames coming back into you and your now. Beautiful energy here. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Yeah. Getting up on this, like, hair like energy here. You know delaying that not giving into it why is judgment here yeah look at that any this unstableness here and coming forward for celebration and union but yeah look at that there's hesitation because of the sneaky ways you know the karmic cycle is ending with this third party and the sneakiness here because it's coming in with this ten of cups look at that so you have some decisions to make scorpios here let's just get some love or codes and see how your person it's filling here, all right? But they're nervous. They're nervous here. Date, exactly. Meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, planning and setting a date. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Separation, sadness, missing you, exactly. Nine of Swords energy. Look, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future and cough. And yeah, they think this relationship is over, but... There's like a renewal phase that they know they have to try one more chance to make this work. We have endings, bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transitioning. So they're ascending right now, trying to come towards you here. We have hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persisting, working on it. And remember I just said they're going to come in with all this action here. You know, this emperor here, this beautiful fiery energy here, double areas energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're coming in to say some things to try to rebuild this. So you have choices to make Scorpios. I really hope this helps and thank you all so much for the support.